Now let's talk about Saints Row the Third, the full package. This open world adventure has made its way to a new console generation, complete with loads of cosmetic and expansion DLCs. While it may be showing its age mechanically, visually, it's still a robust sandbox filled with outlandish activities and diverse mission design. The addition of local and online co-op support makes this version of Saints Row's best outing a must-play on the Switch. Our next game is Zombie Army Trilogy, a solid co-op shooter that pits you against a horde of undead Nazis. While the solo experience may be somewhat limited, playing with friends or joining forces online brings this game to life. With its straightforward yet satisfying gameplay, Zombie Army Trilogy guarantees countless hours of fun and intense zombie-killing action. Strange Brigade. This shooter game offers an old-school experience where you'll face mummified enemies, solve puzzles, and uncover secrets in true Indiana Jones fashion. The pacing may be slower than usual shooters, emphasizing accuracy and clever trap usage. Additionally, your special skills can save you from tricky situations. Whether playing solo or with friends, Strange Brigade delivers a unique and enjoyable adventure. Now, if you're looking for a third-person shooter with a lot of attitude and a whole lot of fun, look no further than Saints Row 4 Re-Elected. This game has it all. Great performance, minimal input lag, and even a solid handheld mode. The gunplay might get a bit messy, and the humor can be offensive to some, but the fact that you can have this activity-rich experience on your handheld console is impressive. Plus, with all the extra content available in the re-elected package, it's definitely a game that will keep you busy for a long time. If you're in the mood for a charming and replayable shooter, then Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville Complete Edition is a game you're definitely going to want to check out. With its cute aesthetic and a ton of content, it's an easy recommendation for any Switch owner. However, it's worth mentioning that the game does have some performance issues, and the single-player offering can get repetitive over time. But if you can overlook those minor drawbacks, you'll definitely get your money's worth with this game. Neon White is a game that has it all. We're called Neon. Excellent writing, great music, sinners, and stunning presentation. The core gameplay Finding is intense and satisfying, <laughs> and it's the kind of game that you just can't put down. With elements from different genres blended together, it's no surprise that this game is becoming a favorite among speedrunners. 
If you're a fan of action games or a proud owner of a Switch, Neon White is a must-play for you. Quake 2 makes its appearance on the Switch in the form of one of the best remasters we've ever seen. With enhanced graphics, refined AI, and all-new animations, this game offers an exhaustive package that Quake fans won't be able to resist. And that's not all. With crossplay support, gyro controls, and various co-op and competitive modes, Quake 2 on the Switch offers an outstanding gaming experience. If you're in search of a good single-player shooter for your Switch, look no further than Bioshock, The Collection. This package combines three excellent games with all their DLC, offering stable performance, engrossing narratives, and fun gameplay. Although the games may show their age at times, this collection is still highly recommended. Trust me, you won't go wrong with Bioshock. Doom Eternal on the Switch is a true marvel. Despite the visual downgrades necessary to fit the game on a portable console, it runs smoothly at 30 frames per second and remains incredibly fun. With non-stop action, an incredible soundtrack, and the satisfaction of taking out hordes of demons, Doom Eternal on the Switch is nothing short of a miracle. It may not look as polished, but it's still a pure and enjoyable experience. Superhot offers a first-person shooter experience like no other. While the main campaign may be a bit short, there are countless ways to replay it. Innovative and captivating, Superhot is the most innovative shooter we've played in years. We have Warframe. Developed by Digital Extremes, Warframe offers a unique blend of cooperative third-person shooting and MMORPG elements. While it's not completely accessible due to its interconnected systems and customizable elements, it's still a remarkable achievement on the Switch. The visual fidelity, maintained by Panic Button, is impressive, and the amount of free content available is mind-blowing. Warframe is definitely a milestone for the console. Next, we have Splatoon 3. This game takes everything that made its predecessor great and refines it to near perfection. It's the most enjoyable online shooter we've played in years, and for longtime fans of the series, it renders Splatoon 2 almost obsolete, except for its unique single-player content. The development team has addressed every concern from the community and improved upon it. Splatoon 3 may not introduce any revolutionary ideas, but it's the pinnacle of the series and the best shooter on the Switch. Now, let's talk about Zombie Army 4 Dead War. This game is a surprisingly solid port of one of our favorite Rebellion titles. Despite the graphics taking a hit and the frame rate being halved compared to other platforms, it's still playable in both docked and handheld modes. Whether you're slaying Hitler's undead hordes alone or with friends, Zombie Army 4 Dead War delivers a ton of schlocky B-movie fun. We give it a thumbs up. Nothing. 
Fortnite. I'm pretty sure most of you already have this game on your Switch dashboards, and rightly so, because Epic has successfully brought the full Fortnite Battle Royale experience to the Switch. It's disappointing that Save the World is not included, and the frame rate might not be as smooth as on other consoles, yet it remains steady and playable. There's definitely room for improvement, but the addictive gameplay and the constant desire for just one more round make Fortnite a must-have on the Switch. Moving on, we have Aliens Fireteam Elite. While not perfect, this squad-based shooter does a reasonably good job of capturing the Aliens experience. However, keep in mind that it's a cloud-based game, so a consistent and fast internet connection is a must. Starting off can be a bit confusing, with different classes, weapons, and equipment to grasp. But once you join a squad with experienced players, the learning curve becomes easier, and the game becomes enjoyable. This next game, Earth Defense Force World Brothers, is one that I personally haven't had the chance to check out before, but I'm really excited to talk about it. This game is all about giant bugs, massive monsters, and the end of the world. It's not the most nuanced game out there, but it sure is a blast. The voxel-based graphics are stunning, the variety of characters is impressive, and the bonkers story is just pure fun. If you're a fan of the series, or if you're looking for a standalone title that offers maximum destruction, then this is the game for you. How's this? I believe it's been 10 years since the original Red Faction Guerrilla came out. This remastered version, Red Faction Guerrilla Remars Teared, brings back all the destructive agency of the original. It's an open-world third-person shooter that doesn't do much to set itself apart, but its unscripted destruction physics take the gameplay to a whole new level. Whether you're smashing through walls or crumbling enemy vehicles, the destructive possibilities are endless. With extra DLC bundled in and Switch-exclusive motion controls, it's definitely a game worth giving a second shot at stardom. If you're in the mood for some silly alien chaos, then Destroy All Humans is the game for you. This remake of the original retains the fun and charm of the original, but unfortunately, it doesn't make any significant changes to the outdated core gameplay. While it may not be the most mechanically advanced game out there, you can still have a great time decimating humans with high-tech gadgets and a flying saucer. Just keep in mind that newcomers to the series might find it a bit underwhelming. Saucers abducto beam to levitate a creature or object. It's the <laughs> World War Z. Now this game is your typical zombie shooter, nothing too extraordinary. However, if you have a few friends to play with, you can definitely enjoy about five hours of action-packed gameplay. It may be repetitive and predictable at times, but the Switch port is pretty solid. You won't encounter many technical issues or other problems. So, 
If you're in the mood to blast through hordes of zombies with your buddies, this game is a good option. Just don't expect it to offer much more than that. Next, let's talk about Morphe's Law. While it may not have the same level of grandeur as Splatoon 2 or the addictive nature of Fortnite, Morphe's Law does have a unique mass-shifting gimmick that sets it apart. With some post-launch updates and improvements, this indie shooter has the potential to become a sleeper hit. The addition of gyro controls, which make use of the Joy-Cons, allows you to gather mass through motion controls. Plus, you can even play it locally with up to eight players. So, keep an eye out for this game if you're looking for something different and potentially fun. Metro 2033 Redux brings the top-class first-person shooter survival horror experience to the Switch. The game has been flawlessly ported, delivering a breathless and engaging adventure. With overhauled AI, gameplay mechanics, and visuals, Metro 2033 Redux stands as one of the best first-person shooters and survival horror games on Nintendo's console. Proteus is a game that perfectly executes its vision. With intense firefights, a vast arsenal, metal music, and sprawling level designs, Proteus strikes the perfect balance between retro and modern. Fans of classic shooters will feel right at home, and even newcomers to the genre will find it a great entry point. Proteus is worth both your time and money. Despite initial doubts, Borderlands 3 on the Switch is a well-built port that successfully brings almost the entire game to Nintendo's handheld. With a deep loot system, stable performance, and tons of content, this game is a must-play. However, multiplayer options are slightly diminished. Still, kudos to Gearbox for making this happen. Borderlands 3 on the Switch is definitely worth your time. Metro. Last Light Redux continues the Metro franchise with big-budget bombast and slow-paced stealth action. Although it may not reach the heights of Metro 2033, this game is still an excellent first-person survival title. The Switch port is fantastic, making it a must-play for FPS and horror fans. Duke Nukem 3D is a timeless masterpiece, and this Switch conversion does it justice. With brilliant visuals, smooth gameplay, and online options, it's hard to find a flaw. The absence of a few expansion packs is a small disappointment, but considering the low price, it's hard to complain. In the words of the Duke himself, come get some. Next 
on our list is Timothy vs. the Aliens, an indie title with a lot of promise for future sequels. The shooting and driving mechanics could use some refining, but we genuinely enjoyed every minute of gameplay. Although the loading times are a bit long, the game's details and graphics make up for it. Let's move on to Vigor. This game has the potential to be a decent experience on the Switch. The stealthy scavenging for loot, avoiding other players, and making successful escapes creates a tense and absorbing gameplay loop. However, there are currently a few bugs and technical issues that need to be addressed. We suggest waiting for the free-to-play version released later in the year when these issues should be resolved. Joe Operation Blackout. As someone who grew up with the Joes, I have a soft spot for this game. The third-person action gameplay falls somewhere between an arcade gun game and a shooter, but it lacks polish. The main storyline keeps you engaged by switching between sides and making character choices. It's best enjoyed with a friend, as the solo mode's companion is minimally helpful. Get ready for some inventive and fun gameplay with Bulletstorm, Duke of Switch Edition. While it may not have received the recognition it deserved on initial release, this game features a fantastic skill shot system, tight combat, and over-the-top action. Although it lacks a multiplayer component, the technical prowess of this port and its stellar gameplay make it a top-notch first-person shooter experience. Don't miss out on this gem. Let's embark on a thrilling adventure with Immortal Redneck. This game offers a blast of action with its well-crafted room design and randomly generated maps. As you upgrade your abilities and explore the game's world, you'll be hooked by its satisfying gameplay. While it may have a few visual and audio glitches, Immortal Redneck will leave a lasting impression on your Switch. Looking for some knockabout retro FPS fun? Look no further than Fashion Police Squad. This unique indie game brings a colorful twist to the genre, allowing you to slap people's faces with a belt of justice while shooting fashion onto their badly dressed bodies. With its own style and humorous take on traditional shooter mechanics, Fashion Police Squad is simply fabulous, darling. If you're craving multiplayer FPS action on the Switch, Hypercharge, Unboxed is the game for you. This title offers solid gameplay and is an absolute blast when played with friends. Although it may have a few gameplay issues and a relatively easy difficulty, Hypercharge. Unboxed stands out as an impressive and unique title worth checking out.
Severed Steel, a game that combines stylish stunts and intense FPS combat. With enemies unable to harm you while you're performing stunts, the gameplay encourages experimentation and constant movement. The slow motion feature adds an extra layer of strategy, allowing you to take down enemies with precision. Although it may be challenging to master, Severed Steel offers a fantastic and engaging experience. Moving on, we have Payday 2. This game is all about teamwork and pulling off heists with other players. It's a unique way to team up with others on the Switch. However, I must admit that the game feels a bit dated when compared to other games in 2018. While it does come with many exciting DLC missions, it's worth mentioning that some updates and content are missing, which is a bit disappointing considering the price tag. On the bright side, it's a smooth port, and playing it on the handheld console is a great experience. Gal Gun 2. This game is an on rail shooter with a heavy emphasis on fantasy scenarios. Unfortunately, it becomes repetitive quite quickly, leaving you wanting for more content. For fans of the series or those who enjoy the art and plot, there might be something here for you. However, if you're looking for great gaming action, you might be disappointed. Research and Destroy. This turn-based strategy game offers unique gameplay elements that require careful strategizing before taking action on the battlefield. It also has a great drop-in and drop-out multiplayer, adding a new level of chaotic fun. However, the game lacks replayability as everything is revealed on the first run-through. But if you're a fan of turn-based strategies, this is definitely worth checking out. Moving on, we have the Otterman Empire. Developed by Tryhard, this game provides a pleasant and nostalgic experience. While the campaign is short, the replayability factor of improving your score and the versus mode make up for it. The gameplay is smooth and the art style is reminiscent of GameCube games. If you're looking for a cool party shooter to play with friends locally, we highly recommend giving the Otterman Empire a try. Now, let's talk about Rogue Trooper Redux. This game offers an enjoyable campaign with an impressive supply maintenance system. The ability to spend your earnings on whatever you please sets it apart from other games in the genre. However, the online multiplayer modes could be more engaging, and the main game's relatively short length might leave you wanting more. Nevertheless, it's still worth your time, especially if you enjoy shooters. Power Slave Exhumed, a brilliant reworking of a classic. This game captures the essence of what made it so awesome back in the day, while incorporating the best elements of both the Saturn and PlayStation versions. 
Power Slave Exhumed is a prototypical take on Metroid Prime, showcasing its confidence in design and timeless gameplay. It's a must-play for any FPS fan, offering hours of thrilling gameplay and secrets to discover. Next up is Boomerang X, a game that offers instantly gratifying gameplay. This arena-based combat game keeps you on your toes, requiring constant movement and agility to avoid death. Your boomerang acts as a portable teleport or hookshot, adding an extra layer of strategy to the gameplay. While the overall difficulty may be a bit tame, the addictive nature of the gameplay makes it perfect for repeat playthroughs and speed runs. If you're a fan of fast-paced first-person action, Boomerang X is the game for you. Now let's dive into the intense world of Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus. Despite a graphical downgrade, this game offers the best single-player FPS experience on the Switch. With its brilliantly written story and action-packed gameplay, it surpasses even the acclaimed Doom port. While the lack of a multiplayer mode may be disappointing, the thrilling war against the Reich is sure to keep you engaged for hours. Ghostbusters, Spirits Unleashed. Ecto Edition is our next game, dousing its gameplay in nostalgic slime. While it may not be the best in the franchise, the attention to detail and care in recreating the Ghostbusters world is commendable. From visuals to dialogue, this game offers an enjoyable online 4v1 gameplay experience. If you're a fan of the Ghostbusters and love busting ghosts, you're in for a great time. Prepare to be transported to a galaxy far, far away with Star Wars Dark Forces Remaster. This game successfully brings a nostalgic FPS experience into the modern age with enhanced gameplay, revamped visuals, and accessibility options. Experience the forgotten era of Star Wars as you engage in galactic conflict. Despite minor frame rate hiccups, this remaster is a must play for fans of the franchise. Overwatch 2. Now don't get me wrong, this game is still enjoyable to play with its intense gameplay and new maps and heroes. However, it falls short of being a proper sequel. It lacks innovation and notable features to justify the two in the title. Plus, the absence of promised co-op story content at launch and the heightened focus on monetization leaves a lot to be desired. Nevertheless, as a free-to-play game, it may have the potential to grow and prove itself worthy over time. If you're not bothered by missed potential, I'd recommend giving Overwatch 2 a shot.
Night Dive Studios does it again with Turok 3, Shadow of Oblivion Remastered. This final entry in the Turok series is a treat for FPS fans who crave action, violent encounters, and stealth kills. It offers a blend of combat and traversals, and although it lacks the engaging task elements of the earlier titles, it still delivers on intense gameplay. However, it's disappointing to see the multiplayer mode left out in this remaster. Let's talk about Warhammer 40,000 Bolt Gun. It may have a confusing navigation system, but trust me, it's got what it takes to please fans. This game offers thrilling combat sequences and just the right amount of difficulty to keep you engaged. Though the controls could be better, there's no denying that Warhammer $40,000 Bolt Gun is a plain fun game to tear through. If you're looking for a solid boomer shooter to add to your library, this is a great option. For those seeking a retro shooter experience, Ion Fury is the game you've been waiting for. It's a delightful love letter from the past, with intense gunfights and intricate level designs. While the weapons and boss fights may not leave a lasting impression, the speed and intensity of the gameplay make up for it. If you're up for the challenge of a classic shooter, Ion Fury is a must play. Oddworld, Stranger's Wrath. If you're expecting a classic Oddworld game, you might be disappointed. However, this game has its own unique identity within the universe and offers a world to explore that feels much larger than what meets the eye. While it has some imperfections, such as underdeveloped stealth mechanics and frustration-inducing lack of instructions, it's still a joy to play on the Switch. If you missed out on it before, give Oddworld Stranger's Wrath a chance now. Before we wrap up, let's talk about After Pulse. This game looks, runs, and plays quite well. On mobile devices, it's already fantastic, and the Switch version maintains that level of quality. The button controls offer convenience and accuracy, giving players an advantage. However, keep in mind that the game has cross-platform multiplayer, which may give you an edge when playing against mobile players.